Okay, finally set up for uh, our first trip, the Torg. Uh, four days up in uh, Maine and New Hampshire. All slab, unfortunately. I haven't changed the tires yet, but it's fine. Put some miles on the bike. Just want to go over uh, all my mods. Uh, real quick, uh, I use Locust Map um, for a lot of reasons, but um, a trick with Locust Map is these little, they're like $11. Unfortunately, they're from China, but I uh, can't get them anywhere else. They're actual miniature game controllers. And I can actually um, move around the map with a joystick and uh, zoom in, zoom out. And it's, uh, it's a great little tool. All right, so I'll go over... Um, what I did to the bike. So I guess starting from the front, um, I had a custom bag made in here. There's a waterproof bag and then another custom bag uh, made out of uh, the anti-scratch uh, cloth so it doesn't scratch the windshield and you can actually slide it in from the side and all my tools are, are in there. It's about four four pounds of tools um right there is an easy pass tucked in there worked out well anti-vibe uh quad lock mount uh highway dirt bike um guards these short levers I, i've only ridden 100 miles on them i'm not really sure about these uh they seem to require more effort more uh pull strength Unfortunately, I got them from uh, AF Racing. Uh, Moscow uh, Gnome Bag. I hate this branding. I'm going to black that out. It's got the water thing in it. It's really not a lot of storage. And they have a sunglasses thing on the front, but it's useless. You can't even fit sunglasses in there. So I just have this sunglasses case with Molly that isn't working too well here. I'm gonna move this down here, I guess, but at least some place to put uh, sunglasses. Um, this is the comfort seat, um, quick shifter. Oh, you gotta do this. There's a lot of talk about this on the AF Racing site. You gotta change these pivot bolts and, and modify them, drill them out and put bolts on the inside. That is a must. You do not wanna be away from home and have the thing fall over and snap that and then try to get those threads out. Um, I hate crash bars. God, I hate them. But I know this bike, you have to have them for the radiator, for this kind of edge of the radiator. So I got the OEM ones. I found a deal on them for about $150 less. They're way overpriced for what they are. But they seem to be the most minimal, decent protection. I know they're not as good, I'm sure, as Outback Motorec, but they certainly are lighter. Still waiting for the weight from those guys on their setup. Um, there's that horn you can get from Amazon. It's like 11 bucks. It's super loud. Totally worth it. Um, the AXP skid plate. No problems putting the AXP on except one spot. And it's only because all the hardware came with it, but it's only because the adapting from here to these crash bars, uh, this had to be cut back about four millimeters. So a little uh, Dremel time on, on that. Um, got the Dominator, I think it's HP6 exhaust. Got a couple of those Moscow plates, but I don't think I really need them. Um, and, uh, oh, I use this thing. A lot of people complain about this throttle. It, mine seems to be getting a little bit better, but if you use this, it just gives, you use the weight of your hand and it, it takes, um, it makes it easier. So I know someone's figured out a way to, to do surgery in here and change the spring and that's great. Um, but you could try one of these. They're like $15 cramp buster, I guess they're called. Um, all right, uh, okay, so luggage. I've tried every type of luggage, everything. Moscow, Endorstan, um, a couple others. And 
this is the lightest, I think, and the best. Now there's some trade-offs with this. These side bags are 20 liter bags, and this top bag is 40 liters. So ultimately this is 80 liters. I could have gotten away with a little bit smaller top bag, but I'll go over the reasons why I chose this top bag. And these are all mounted, no racks at all, using rock straps and those Night Eyes gear ties, which are great. I've ridden across the whole country using Night Eyes instead of any straps to hold bags onto motorcycles. And um, it definitely makes adjusting things a lot easier. So right now, um, I could probably take this, take the seat off if I wanted to. There's, this, this isn't even strapped down that hard. It's two, two straps for this top bag um, and one um, rock strap for each side bag and two night eyes things. And then what I did is I attached a couple of these loops um, where I took the, uh, the pillion things off. You could actually run a pillion with this setup too. Um, I don't think the only thing lighter than this is the Zephyr stuff, and I'm definitely interested in that. Um, they have a link on ADV Rider, a whole thread, really cool stuff. They're just coming out with their first bags, but I think their largest bag is 14, and I want 20s. It's just what I want. So when they make 20s, I may switch over. Okay, so these bags are made by Seal Line. They're, I think this, these are about 78 bucks or something, I think, on Amazon. They are submersible. Um, and uh, they're made in America. <laughs> these, wonderful thing. This bag, it's an American company, Seal Line. This is not made in America, but I think it's Vietnam. It's not China. Um, sometimes you just, you got to go China and it sucks, but you got to do it. Underneath the seat, um, I uh, put in a, unfortunately, a Chinese battery with a restart, that restart feature, um, anti-gravity. Uh, I didn't trust the battery of this bike. It let me down once and it's a little bit, it's lighter than the anti-gravity, but it's less cranking amps and I just don't trust it. So I switched that out. Um, uh, a little minor thing, this right here, this is completely flexible. I, I removed that, that piece of hardware with the reflectors on the side and it's got like a flex plate on there. Um, there's little bobbins down there, paddock stand bobbins. And is there anything else? Oh uh, yeah, I changed, I changed the rear nut to, 20, to 27. That 26 is weird, and then I carry a Motion Pro, um, Motion Pro tire iron and um, and the axle wrench, and I got the uh, the chain guard thing, the Cerebus. Hard to get that thing. It's only one place. Anyway, that's it. Um, this right here was some protective. It's like called racer's tape. I have it all over here underneath this tank bag so I don't scratch this up. Um, originally, I had a different tank bag that had straps that went down, and that's why I have that on there. just haven't bothered to take it off. This is all my 12-volt stuff to plug in the jacket, pants, and everything. I just tape that over with some gaffers. Um, tape. I had the dealer reset that light. I don't care about that light. People seem to really have a problem with that light, that little symbol. It's the color of it. You can barely see it. It doesn't bother me at all. And yes, I've gotten used to the blinking cruise control. You're just living with it, man. Um, and I had the dealer program both the keys. You got to have both the keys and put that key code in. I think that's everything. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, everything else is stock. Um, I did notice the AXP plate does seem to protrude enough that if I got that, the metal uh, pedal, the shifter pedal, the one that's impossible to get from Italy, it's even more tucked in. So I'm thinking with the AXP that and with these modified ball things, that should be okay as far as like breaking down there. 
Um, that's pretty much it. I got about 1,100 miles on this bike. I love it. And the quick shifter is wonderful. And that's all.